What's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. First, I want to say thank you to everybody who was able to make it into overtime last night. It was a little bit shorter of a one. I think we only won two and a half hours. <laughs> I know, two and a half hours, pretty long. But the chat was flowing. Hopefully, we got to everybody's comments, questions in the chat. Myself and Joey were trying to do the best we could to keep up with it all. Um, I know there were some questions about taxes and stuff, so hopefully I was able to answer that stuff correctly. Or not correctly, but what you were wanting to know offhand with it. I do have some experience with taxes. Um, I still do select people's uh, taxes on the side and stuff. And I know a lot of this is going to be big changes and headaches coming up uh, next year in 2022. So uh, if you guys have questions, you can always just hit me up um, on my email and I'll try to answer them or at least give you the pieces of information you're looking for. All right, let's get on to the video today. Let's get on to the video today. I have to switch my screen here real quick. So, let's talk mystery breaks on eBay. What is a mystery break? That was my first question. And I did see somebody email me about these, but this was not the same um, seller that I'm about to show you on eBay. It really made me question what breaking has become. I mean, mystery breaks? I had no idea. I, I was trying to guess, like, you... You know, it was mystery product. What what could it be? Well, I'm about to explain it. And when you hear it, you're probably going to slap yourself in the head like I did. Like, I can't believe that somebody's doing this and people are buying spots into it. I mean, I had so many mixed emotions about it. I had to sit back and take it all in. And I was still in shock onto it. Still in shock. But maybe this is a new thing. I have no idea. Um, as always, I like to see in the comments section what you guys think of this. If you per got into these or known about these or whatever it may be, because this is like totally different realm for me. Um, everything in the video is going to be based off of my opinion, what I see and from my experiences. So if you do these or you participate in them and you've done well or you sell well and there's been no issues, hey, you know, that's good. But there's a lot wrong with this. It could come back and bite you, too. All right, let me pull this up. Let me pull it up for everybody. All righty, here we go. Here we go. So this is it. NBA Blaster Box Team Break Select this year. $12.99 Canadian, which is it says there in U.S. what it's supposed to be. If you look up here, 13 have been sold already. More than 10 available. Charges $5, which is $4 U.S. for shipping. So we got shipping involved into it. Okay. All right. So I was still like trying to be curious. I'm like, so what's the big mystery about it? Well, we're about to get into it. Let's take a look here. Same old little header right there. Please note that this listing is not for a purchase of a box or packs or individual cards. Okay. Got it. This is a break. I mean, the font is just really hard to read, for me at least. Again, this is not for packs. Again, okay, same thing, stating over again. Each spot and team will be randomized via random.org. All right. You using the verified or are you just using the free version? That was my big question. I'm like, all right. Still trying to figure out what the mystery is here. I mean, is there like a mystery giveaway? What? So it goes through, tells you, you buy one team, you get, you know, one spot gets one team, five gets five teams, blah, 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 blah. Once the packs are open, all hits and base cards will be shipped to the team, slots, respective owner. Okay, understand. This means you are in the, let me rephrase this. This means that in the unlikely event, your team received no hits. I don't know. Basically, it's telling you you might not receive any hits. Why are you charging me shipping? Are you refunding my shipping? doesn't even say that. When I used to do these breaks, and I mean, like, I'm using full case to clear the authentic. I never charged shipping. I just made it free, so that way it wasn't even worried about. Two, if you didn't get anything and it say it was a bigger break, I refunded shipping. I made sure it was put in there. But don't know what he does. No idea. Because right down here it says no refunds or returns. All sales are final. Well, what about the shipping? Come on, man. You guys can't keep shipping if you're not going to ship anything. 
that there opens yourself up for a lot. So I know, I know, we're still waiting for the mystery. Well, here is the mystery. Right here, this sentence. This is a mystery break, so it will not be recorded and all teams will be shipped within two to three days. What do you mean it's not going to be recorded? How am I supposed to know you ran a random? How am I supposed to know exactly what cards were pulled and you didn't keep the hits? This just sets up for bad all around. Regardless if this dude is 100% legit or not, you're asking for people to just open up refunds and everything else across the board on you because they cannot physically see the product on screen being open. I mean, who buys into this even? It makes no sense to me whatsoever. I, I mean, I can't even see a link to your random.org to see just what team I actually drew. How do I know this is being legit across the board? Easy answer, I don't. And then funny thing, no arguments will be tolerated. Everything about the break is listed in the description. Well, no, not really. Because, one, you don't talk about anything about refund and postage if you get no hits. You can't charge for postage and not ship somebody something. That's wrong. Regardless if you're in the United States, Canada, Mexico, England, Australia, China, Japan, it don't matter. You can't do that. How eBay's allowing this to even go on is even besides me. I, I, I'm really surprised. This here is bad. I mean, it's almost like buying mystery packs off of here. And you get a stack of base cards and some random hit that they call. You never know what all the hits are or, hey, you're guaranteed one of these 100 hits in my 100 repacks. It, it, it's just bad. Oh, it, it just really, I, I just don't get it. So I was like, all right, let's do a little more investigation onto it and see. Maybe my thought process and opinion is wrong. 92.3 positive feedback with 60. This here would have got me right off the bat, but I was like, eh, you know, maybe a dude has a hater. No, not really. I mean, when you start reading these neutrals, this is a person it owned up to. He didn't read the description, so he took it as his fault. He did send the money. He did get cards. He won't ever buy from again. You know, and it just it goes the whole way through. Let me hit the negatives here. This buyer is calling a straight scam. No live stream or random generation done, so there isn't any accountability to the seller. Exactly what I've seen just by reading the description. Arrived late, message a seller about proof of team generation, never, and pack opening, mean, never got a response. But yeah, he th in somebody's own mind, they're like, well, I put in the description, it's good to go. It really is not. This dude here, same thing, gets into the whole thing onto it. This guy here, and then there's reply back, of course, fake comment left by buyer. The buyer is threatening me over messages as well for no reason, then apologized. The buyer is leaving a negative comment because he or she did not do their due diligence in reading the post. Well, you know what? I would probably make that bold, bigger, so everybody can see it and understand what's going on right off the bat. Me as a seller, when I was doing breaks on eBay, my my listing was huge. And I mean, I made the fonts big. I would highlight color wording and stuff so everybody could see it and understand it. That there, it, it just not doesn't look good all around. Whether it's the description of the product, the not being able to see how the teams get random to no video being done on it and just mailing out some cards. I mean, I did look. There was some uh, good feedback on here. But then again, I mean, I, I haven't seen anybody with a real high feedback that got into this either. I mean, I, I have no idea. It, it just all doesn't sit right really with me. Um, I don't know. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think I pretty much hit this till it was dead in a horse right now. 
but by by looking at stuff like this, and this is stuff that's going on on eBay, mystery breaks. I mean, there, we went from mystery packs to mystery breaks. And that, in case you ever hear what a mystery break is, I mean, I didn't know what it was. I, I really was in shock that's what a mystery break is. It, it made no sense. It still is, to me, a very, very bad idea. There's a lot of stuff that could be questioned onto this. Anybody who's been breaking for years would notice this. And by putting this right here, I would bold this, make the font bigger. Heck, I'd probably put this in the top up here so everybody knew ahead of time and there's no questions asked. I mean, you open yourself up for returns and everything else, criticism onto it. Uh, it's just bad. But yeah, all right, everybody. I am going to cut the video here. Appreciate the support to the channel as always. And thank you guys. You guys have been emailing me tons of stuff. Tons. Uh, a lot of it I got to do a lot more in depth looking into. It's just been a wealth of stuff that I didn't even know was going on out there. I mean, it's insane. But have a good weekend, everybody. I will catch you all next video.